Georgia. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Atlanta Falcons. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. Taken from about the 12. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30, right about the 29. Play fake here on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. In early second and long, they're facing. They'll look to throw. Got a man. It's Patterson complete two yards on the pickup there and they're going to be staring at a third and long here that might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time and sometimes against that you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield but what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game they do get 18 but even that won't be quite enough it's fourth down, so likely a three and out on their opening drive. That's not a good omen for a team that's lost three straight games. Too many threes that you're mentioning right there. That's a number they've got to get off of, and the big risk you're running right now is discouragement amongst the ranks. How do you keep them up? How do you keep them motivated? They've got to dial up something to give themselves some confidence. Now he will have a first down here at about the 40. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not so sure I would have made this call. I'm not so sure I would have said, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, especially at this point of the game. But give him credit. He had a feeling and carried it through. Yeah, that's one where you think, okay, if you're down two minutes left, the ball's near midfield, you go for it. But at this stage, at that part of the field, but like you said, it worked. The Falcons at 6-4 and four now on the year. Yeah, they've lost three straight here. It, it kind of goes without saying, I guess, but they could certainly use a win. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between a losing stretch and a losing streak. And right now, they're not playing their best football, but if they were to fall here, and now you're looking at going four games without a win, things can start compounding themselves pretty quickly from this point forward. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 46. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free. And that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. A first carry for Tyler Algier. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And we often talk about defensive end setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. Mr. Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Fielded right around the eight. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 36 yard line. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second and nine, Fields. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect this quarterback, and a sack resulted. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. On first down, Fields. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Meanwhile, Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Ball at the nine on second and eight. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. 
And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends. Because and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Kari Blassen game. His third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Santos with the extra point, And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but he's got a man complete. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 48 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First and 10, it's Patterson. And some room to run now. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another first down run right there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. They'll run it. This is Muhammad. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run here with Algier. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Quadri Olison. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken from about the 12. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back 
Back to throw. Fields. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw his fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A big completion there, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Very heady football. That allows them the opportunity to go ahead and line up and kick one right before the half ends. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Williams will score. Touchdown, Atlanta. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football. Hat on a hat. Chest to chest. Driving forward. Touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Pulls it in at the 13. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. 
And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. On first down, it's Fields. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. Second down and five. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Out of the gun, Fields. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Montgomery. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 34-yard line. Montgomery back to the ground. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And out of bounds right around the 20. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Fields. Completes a Mooney on the slant. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Montgomery is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Fields is trying to throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Another big play here as they strike for 31. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. Yeah, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball, when you get that little Texas leaguer that turns into a double, you would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him on a short little pass. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he's brought down. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Fourth of the year. And the Falcons get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Two able to connect on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense and you figure after giving up that last touchdown you know they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter this drive becomes very critical on first and ten here's Fields eluding the pressure right and that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Fields. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fields on first down. Buying time to his left. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 47 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? 
On second down, a run with Patterson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Falcons look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields dancing to his left. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Now a first down throw, Fields. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. And one last throw here for Fields. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. They put up their goal at the beginning of the season, and that was to win seven games, and now they've accomplished that mission. And congratulations to them for achieving their goal. They have to finish the season strong, but you've got to think.